The protesters charged the new government had abandoned their supervisory rights endowed by the basic law. In response, the CIP issued a statement saying that they had followed the rules and that the alliance was misinterpreting the existing laws. On January 6, more than 500 indigenous people protested, charging the CIP with three acts of alleged misconduct. Members from the alliance protecting indigenous people's basic rights alleged that the CIP was not protecting the rights of indigenous peoples. They demanded the resignation of CIP Minister Zhang Renxiang. Although Zhang didn't show up as the protesters demanded, the CIP released a statement on the same day stressing that it was abiding by the law and the accusations were false. It said the alliance was misinterpreting the law. Firstly, the alliance accuses the CIP of ignoring Article 31 of the Basic Law. The government shall not deposit hazardous materials in indigenous regions against the people's will. The alliance argued that the government may set up nuclear disposal sites in indigenous communities and the CIP failed to protect the rights of the locals. The CIP responded and said the alliance allegations were groundless. It said since the new government started, no officials from the Atomic Energy Council had ever visited the CIP or spoken with its minister on the nuclear waste disposal issue, nor had it tried to solicit comments from the CIP. Secondly, the alliance accuses the CIP of ignoring Article 19 of the Basic Law. Indigenous peoples may hunt wild animals for nonprofit activities within indigenous regions. The alliance alleged that the CIP had abandoned its supervisory role in protecting the rights of the indigenous peoples by asking the indigenous peoples to follow the Wildlife Conservation Act instead of the basic law. The CIP said in the statement that the alliance had seriously misunderstood Article 19 of the basic law. The clause states indigenous peoples can conduct non-commercial hunting in indigenous areas permitted by law. The law here refers to regulations that are already in place such as the Wildlife Conservation Act and not the basic law. This means the locals must also abide by the Conservation Act. And the CIP had no right to authorize the hunting activity under Article 19. Lastly, the alliance accuses the CIP of ignoring Article 21 of the basic law, which says, when conducting land development, natural resource utilization, ecological conservation and academic research on indigenous lands, the government or the private party shall consult and obtain the consent of participation of indigenous peoples and share relevant profits with them. The alliance said CIP had abandoned its supervisory rights by allowing the Macau Chinese Cyprus National Park project to be executed. However, in the statement, the CIP said the plan to develop Macau was announced in 2002, before the basic law was enacted in 2005. The CIP had asked the Department of Land Management to seek consent of the local people, as the basic law requires. The CIP said it had been protecting the rights of the indigenous peoples and the alliance was making wrong accusations. TITV Weekly.